Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome back to another FIFA 18 player review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 85 rated man of the match card Pablo Zavabia, he cost me 65,000 coins and in the 5 games that I played with him he scored me 4 goals and got me 3 assists and he does have a 4 star weak force and 4 star skimmers and getting off into his in game stats to me his main standard stats are his 90 short passing his 87 ball control, his 89 vision and his 84 finishing and guys this was a card that I really did enjoy using a lot, there were a couple of parts to the card which were a little bit of an issue but for the majority a very fun card to use and getting off into his first pro for me is going to be his passing, I really enjoyed his passing in particular, his short passing and his through balls were fantastic. 90 short passing is obviously a very nice stat to have. And uh, he just made a lot of nice little passes towards the likes of Burkamp and Del Piero, which is what I wanted them to make. That's what Dembele's been doing for me for like the past 200 games that I've been using him with. But uh, this Sarabia kind of went with him because he's got better stats than Dembele and looks way more cooler than him, which obviously matters a lot uh, to FIFA. Um, but yeah, his passing was obviously just fantastic. Uh, long passing, I didn't really get to use that much because as a great winger you're not going to be making that many long passes especially um you know because i've got quite short players up front so i'm not going to be making any pass it's not like i had alan shearer up front where i could maybe like make long passes to him as a target man i got del piero who's not a target person you make nice little short passes to like so del piero and and guedes and stuff like that um but now his passing was very good obviously three assists in five games was very nice i could have probably got more assists with him if my finishing was even better uh, unfortunately i wasn't able to quite do that but in general i really did enjoy his passing his second proof for me is going to be his dribbling. This was my favorite part of his card. 86 agility, 86 balance, uh, 87 ball control, 92 in-game started dribbling as well. was very nice. I love a player that's got really good agility and really good balance on the wing and need to have good players like that. And whilst the majority of players do have that, it's obviously nice that he had really high dribbling and really high ball control. Makes him such a smooth card to use, which does really matter. I don't like having a sluggish or clunky player on the wing. It's just not good to have at all. And uh, Sarabia was fantastic in the area. Great dribbling. Often used it to beat a lot of his players. Um, to create chances for himself as well. Which is very important. And it's very important obviously having very good dribbling. When you're in the box like type of area. You can just use it to kind of get past players. Uh, and obviously having that on the wing as well. is a very nice benefit. Uh, and then for me his final pro is going to be his finishing. I was quite a big fan of his finishing actually. Um, 84 uh, finishing on his in-game stats. Also 88 uh, shot power and 86 long shots were also very nice to have um he did also score me a free kick as well on one of the goals he only has 83 uh, sorry 80 free kick accuracy but uh, i quite enjoyed his free kicks because it's not quite often i do score a free kick goal but in general his finishing was very nice from open play very good on his left or right foot because he does have a four star weak foot and uh, also his positioning was pretty decent as well he does have 86 attack positioning uh, the only problem to this card for me was his stamina and you do certainly notice it unfortunately in towards the last 10 minutes of the game Pretty much every game, actually, in the last 10 minutes, he was almost... He wasn't unusable, but he would certainly not work well than what I've used other players. For example, like Dembele would be, like, through the whole game, he would be fine, usually, and he wouldn't struggle towards the end of the game. Unfortunately, like likes of Sarabia, he would start to struggle a little bit at the back end of the game, but... Uh, for the most part, he was a very fun card to use, and I had a lot of fun. And I'd say he's probably worth the 65,000 coins. I mean, I don't know how long these amount of the match cards are going to be out for, but um, I'd say 65,000 coins was a pretty decent price to pick up this guy for, and I certainly will be using him a lot more from now on. But anyway, guys, it's going to finish up this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.